Okay, so now that I've got most of my fuel lines run from the tank to the, uh, the valve, I'm going to uh, go ahead and flare each end. Since this is a carbureted application, it's not high pressure, so I'm just going to use uh, a single flare. I'm not going to use any AN fittings or uh, nuts and ferrules or anything like that since it's not going to be um, higher pressure. You know, it's less than 10 PSI. So uh, one of the first things you do, I have a double flaring tool that I use for my brake lines, and I'm just going to do a single flare. But one of the first things you do is you take your, your uh, fuel line and you go ahead and deburr it. Um, this is just aluminum line, so it's really easy to work with. Uh, okay, now that it's deburred, you can kind of see that it's deburred. Um, you go ahead and put it in the holder. Um, what I do is you take this insert, you place it in here, and you line the top of the tube up with this ledge on the insert. Um, once that's lined up, you clamp it into place. You take this insert, you turn it upside down, stick it in the tube, take this clamp, slide it on. And clamp it down. And you don't have to turn it all the way tight. Um, just, you just have to have some kind of a lip for the, uh, the hose to catch on to you so it doesn't slip off. And once you do that, take it out of the clamp and that's kind of that's what you end up with just gives a little lip for the clamp to uh, hold up against so it doesn't blow the hose off